everybody and welcome to Real Talk. We're so excited to have you with us where every week we'll be diving into different topics and themes to find out what it really means to follow Jesus right here, right now. No sugarcoating, no fluff, just Real Talk. Real Talk, things are crazy. And I just wanna take the next two to three hours to explain everything that's going on. Um, <laughs> No, I'm just kidding, but I really do want to encourage you that you are not alone. It reminds me of an amazing story in Mark chapter 4 where Jesus asks his disciples to get on a boat and go to the other side. And what happens is, it's just extraordinary, this massive storm happens where winds and waves are crashing down upon them and they're freaking out. And we find Jesus sleeping on a pillow. And his disciples who have walked with him, seen him do miracles, are freaking out that they don't know what's going to happen. And so they finally wake Jesus up and he does an amazing thing. He just says, peace, be still. And the storm, the storm dies, the storm ends, and they make it to the other side. So I want to encourage you with three things. That one, acknowledge that Jesus is with you that Jesus is in your boat. You see the disciples that go and they finally wake him up after freaking out, just like how we've been freaking out these last couple of weeks. When we realize and acknowledge Jesus is in our boat, we are not alone. Number two, worship Jesus in the midst of the storm. You see that the disciples, after they woke him up and Jesus came out and he said, peace, be still, and the storm was gone, that they said to themselves, who is this that even the winds and the waves obey him? As we're in the midst of this storm, as the winds and the waves are crashing against us, that's the greatest time to say, you know what, God, I need you. I acknowledge you and I worship you. Number three, you're going to make it to the other side. Jesus told his disciples before the storm ever happened that they were going to get into the boat and go to the other side. Jesus called us to this season right now. He's not going to leave us or forsake us. We're going to make it to the other side. Because who is this that even the winds and the waves and this virus obeys him? And so I just want to pray with you um, as we close. I just want to say, Jesus, we love you. God, we thank you um, that we're not alone. God, that you're in this with us, that you're in our boat. We acknowledge who you are. God, and in this moment, we will learn to worship you in the midst of a storm when the winds and the waves come crashing down on us. And God, that we know that we're going to get through this. We know we're going to make it to the side and that we are not alone. So we love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Want to go deeper into today's talk? Check out our Instagram to join the conversation. Be sure to connect with us throughout the week to stay up to date on all that we have happening. You can find us on the c3.nyc website and on our C3 Youth Instagram. Until next time, keep it real.